Hello and welcome to this episode of Depressed Room. My name is Amal Chaudhary and today we will be talking about how Japan's economy is on a decline and also how coronavirus has made it much worse. Japan's economy shrank at the fastest pace in almost six years in the December quarter as last year's sales tax increase hit consumer and business spending, highlighting a fragile outlook made worse by growing coronavirus risks. Analysts say that widening fallout from the epidemic, which is damaging output and tourism, could undermine growth in the current quarter and push Japan into recession, defined as two straight quarters of decline in economic activity. There's a pretty good chance the economy will suffer another contraction in January and March. The virus will mainly hit inbound tourism and exports but could also weigh on domestic consumption quite a lot, said Taro Saito, an executive research fellow at NLI Research Institute in Japan. If this epidemic is not contained by the time of the Tokyo Olympic Games, the damage to the economy will be huge, he said. Japan's gross domestic product shrank by an annualized 6.3% in the October-December period, government data showed on Monday, much worse than a median market forecast for a 3.7% drop and marked the first decline in five quarters. It was the biggest fall since the second quarter of 2014 when consumption took a hit from a sales tax increase in April of that year. The latest sales tax hike in October last year as well as unusually warm weather that hurt sales of winter items weighed on private consumption which sank a bigger than expected 2.9% making the first drop in five quarters. The weakness in capital expenditure previously considered among the few bright spots in the economy cast doubt on the Bank of Japan's view that growth will continue to expand moderately as robust domestic demand makes up for weakness in exports. Economy Minister Yasutoshi Nishimura said the government was ready to take all necessary steps and was watching the effects the coronavirus outbreak could have on the economy and specifically tourism. The government had hoped Japan's economy would continue a moderate recovery, but we must be vigilant against the impact of the coronavirus on domestic and overseas economies, he said in a statement issued after the GDP's release. Still, many analysts doubt whether the government and the central bank have effective means to fight another recession given their dwindling policy ammunition. The government has already taken steps to respond to the sales tax hike and post-Olympic slowdown, so you cannot expect further steps on the fiscal front, said Takishi Minami, chief economist at Nori Chukin Research Institute. There's not a lot more the BOJ can do either. Additional easing may do more harm than good to the economy, he said. Japanese policymakers had warned the economy will suffer a contraction in October-December as the sales tax hike, typhoons and the trade war between the United States and China hurt consumption and factory output. Investors are now watching to see if growth will rebound in the current quarter as the Bank of Japan projects emit fresh risk from the coronavirus that have forced factories in China to shut down and led to a sharp drop in Chinese tourists. The BOJ kept monetary policy steady last month and nudged up its economic growth forecast on hopes that global growth will rebound around mid-year due to receding risks. So this is it from this episode of Depressed Room. For more such videos, keep watching My Nation.